In 2006, the pop cultural conscience was taken over by a television series called Heroes, created by Tim Crean, who wanted to tell a story about regular folks who all gain various types of superpowers and eventually cross paths with each other, all while the threat of New York City being destroyed in six weeks looms closer. Then in a season one finale, New York City is saved, and Tim Crean's original plans for the series to have an ever-shifting cast changed, and he chose to bring most of the characters of season one back for season two. And there lies the problem for Claire Bennett, possibly the most popular character in the series. If not the most popular, she at least appears in more episodes than any other character in the original four seasons of the series. The first half of season one has Claire find out her dad has done some pretty shady stuff in the name of protecting her, while exploring the limits of her powers as she considers them more of a curse than a blessing. By the end of the season, she has a better relationship with her father, she no longer sees her abilities as a curse, and she even helps save New York City. It's a pretty good arc for her character, but with her returning in season two when she initially was not supposed to, that means we have to find something else for her to do. So season two has Claire and her father once again at odds because of his shady actions in the past, as well as her exploring the limits of her powers. Oh, and she has a boyfriend now. That one night, you made everything all right. You could probably say this about most of the characters who returned from season one, but I feel like because the creators never planned to bring these characters back, they had no idea what to do with them. So they scurried, and in the case of Claire, they more or less repeated her character arc from the previous season in a truncated amount of time. So what is my solution? I I think it would have been interesting if Claire became a villain, or at least a very extreme anti-hero. That might seem like a betrayal of the concept of the series, about ordinary people with extraordinary abilities saving the world, but when you have a cast of dozens over several seasons, it seems plausible to me that some of them might turn out alright, while others might tread closer to the dark side. And we see some evidence of that in Claire over the course of the series. In the first half of season one, she finds out the guy she had a crush on is actually a serial rapist, and she takes matters into her own hands and nearly gets him killed. If you watch that episode and you're unfamiliar with the trajectory her character takes throughout the series, you could easily be forgiven for thinking this is her first step on the path of villainy. It's pretty easy to justify her actions here as her victim was very reprehensible and showed no signs of stopping. But what if she gets a taste for doing this again and the next time it isn't as black and white? Sometime after the midpoint of season one, she's inspired by Peter Petrelli's bravery because he nearly died trying to save her. So she wants to pick up with what she did earlier in the season. Maybe this time, instead of an unrepentant rapist, it's an armed robber, but the guy is doing it because his daughter is sick and he doesn't have health insurance to pay for her operation. Her use of her abilities could culminate in her accidentally maiming or killing an undercover cop who she thought was a do-batter. Somehow, her identity becomes public knowledge, at least to the company her father works for, and now she has to go on the run. I would want her to still be somewhat sympathetic, so she would regret whatever happened to the undercover cop, but at this point, she's past the point of no return, so she embraces her role as a villain she has fallen into. Sort of like the end of the movie the Dark Knight, or like Magneto of the Marvel Universe. He doesn't care what people call him, he's just doing what he believes is the right thing. Claire would try to become a little more informed about her attacks in the future, but she has no intention of stopping what she's doing. To further her path to the dark side, since the series kept returning to her issues she had with her dad and his job of hunting down superhumans, you could use that to motivate her goals and agenda once she is seen as a criminal by some of the other characters in the series. At first, she understands that what her father did, he did to protect her, and she is okay with that. But then, the more she finds out, the less sure she is of where her father's loyalties lie. He kidnapped children. He imprisoned people who didn't understand their abilities. So like Magneto, she tries to become the figurehead for the people with evolved abilities. She's seen firsthand that the ordinary humans are going to keep coming after her kind, and she is not going to let that slide any longer. This could be a good opportunity to do something new with Claire's dad. He always justified doing some pretty horrible stuff to protect his family, but what happens when his family says, who's going to protect us from you? Where will Noah stand when his daughter is outed as a criminal? Does he throw his lot in with his employers and try to hunt her down, as well as cracking down on all the other superhumans when the company sees them as a threat after some of Claire's extreme actions? This would only enforce Claire's belief that the ordinary humans are the enemy, and the superhumans have to act if they want to survive. Maybe he does stick with the company for a little while, until he sees that yes, some of the superhumans are dangerous, and there needs to be a system to deal with them, but the company is overreacting, and some of their targets are innocents, and the company's actions are turning them into dangerous threats that they wouldn't have been otherwise. He could act as a spy, still working with the company, but informing to the heroic community, much like what he was doing in the possible dark future we saw in season one. I'd want this to play out gradually over at least three seasons. Everything with Claire in season one would mostly play out the same. Nothing would change in the first half of the season, and the second half, I wasn't crazy about her discovering her family roots, so that could be where she begins doing more of her attacks on the criminal element. It was pretty satisfying seeing pretty much the whole cast of the first season come together in Kirby Plaza in the finale, but if you want to keep these characters around, it might be better that Claire 
Harris story doesn't intersect with the near explosion of New York City, and instead, you begin seeding her character arc for season two, while everyone else is involved in saving New York City. And in the series we got, the first half of season three was titled Villains, which if you restructure some of the events of the series a little bit, since season three was a huge mess, you could have Claire's turn to the anti-heroic side happen around the point when the company has a big prison break, and many of these guys eventually join forces, with Claire joining them. Some of them she would see as too evil, and either she kills them because of something horrible that they do on her watch, or she somehow arranges for them to be taken back into custody by the company, even as she is preaching about how the company is the enemy, and she begins to see that, yeah, her dad did some awful stuff, but some of it was necessary. But while some of these escaped superhumans wouldn't be fit to be part of her brotherhood, some of the others she convinces them to join her own agenda. This might have been disappointing to people who like her character in the early parts of the series, but I think this would have been a much more interesting thing to see than her going through the same character arc multiple times. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, I have some other ideas about ways that heroes could have been improved, so stick around and see those in the future. And I also do other videos, so check those out while you wait. Until next time, have a good one.